Hello, my name is Lee Grissom and this is my video post for week 8. We um, studied chapter 6 in our text uh, from Zunker which is on standardized tests and assessments uh, or inventories. Um, there are many different types of assessments and standardized tests we could use as career counselors. Um, these range from aptitude test uh, to achievement test interest inventories, values inventories, personality inventories. Um, all of these can be very useful assessments to um, help guide our clients in their career decision making and career development process. Um, the, the prompt for me this week was the biggest takeaway from the chapter. Um, I think the biggest takeaway is to consider uh, the appropriate use of these assessments and inventories in our work. Um, one particular issue that stands out is it may be tempting to make um, <clears throat> career decisions based solely on the scores of an inventory um, or a test, um, which is never a good practice. Um, we want to um, encourage our clients in, um, to make decisions based on multiple sources of information, not just to consider uh, the scores or the results from um, an interest inventory or a standardized test. Um, taking all the information and compiling it together to um, uh, raise awareness of self and make uh, a fully informed decision or fully informed decisions from there. Um, another interesting thing to consider about the pr appropriate use of these tests and inventories, um, one of the first consider considerations would be are they culturally sensitive? Um, as we're working with diverse populations, um, many of these tests and assessments have been standardized um, or the norm group um, may have not been included uh, to um, sample from a diverse population. So is this test um, or inventory culturally sensitive and appropriate for uh, diverse, diverse clients we may work with? That would be the first thing to consider and to research as a competent career counselor. <clears throat> being multiculturally sensitive um, to the needs of our clients um, as we use these tests and inventories is important. Um, also, um, validity and the reliability of these tests should be um, researched before we use them. Um, obviously, there are many uh, nationally known tests um, that have been around for a long time. Um, but becoming familiar with um, the reliability of these tests as well as the validity um, is something that we need to consider as career counselors. Um, <clears throat> so I think those are the two biggest takeaways for me. Um, well, the one biggest takeaway is the appropriate use of tests and inventories in our work. And that's sort of two subcategories of that would be um, is the test uh, sensitive, multiculturally sensitive, and is it reliable and is it a valid test? Um, doing our research and our homework ahead of time and understanding the instruments that we are seeking to use with our clients um, would be my biggest takeaway. Also, we have a responsibility to be able to interpret the results um, with our clients, um, not just give them the scores, but to go over them with them and help them understand um, how this will apply to them and what the scores actually mean. Um, so that is part of the appropriate use uh, for these as well. So um, I look forward to becoming more familiar with um, assessments and inventories that I will be using in my work as a counselor. Um, I did, I have personally taken the strong interest inventory um, and have studied the Beck Depression inventory and some of the others, um, which I do believe would be, be very useful. Um, of course, another issue that comes to mind is um, ruling out personality disorders or other concerns um, before we actually address uh, career decision making and development. Um, and there are assessments and inventories that we can use for that as well as counselors. So thank you very much for listening uh, to this post, and I hope you have a wonderful week.